Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and today I wanted to do a quick review on this uh, Modern Carry Quick Draw Minimalist Wallet, as it's called. Uh, kind of like a money clip. Uh, kind of like those, obviously, Ridge wallets and stuff, but this is like the ultimate, most minimalist way of doing it. I'm actually using mine in a different capacity, which I'll kind of touch on. But uh, this is basically what I was looking for, something really thin, something really minimal. Um, obviously, you're not getting anything more than what you see right here. It's in a little plastic pouch, or not even, just a little plastic sleeve. So this is all you're getting is an elastic strap. It's a pretty good elastic strap, too. You can see the edges are stitched pretty good. It's fairly tough feeling. And I'm not sure if this is leather or just some type of uh, synthetic material. But, you know, it's em embossed there. It's okay looking. Uh, the, the main question is, are you willing to pay anywhere from... Uh, 10 to 20 dollars for just this piece of uh, plastic or nylon whatever you want to really refer to it as so for my use uh, i use a regular bifold wallet but i'm uh, kind of collecting credit cards i don't have that many but my wallet doesn't hold that many and i don't want to double them up in the sleeves but i have this like bigger card slot here on the outside so basically what I'm doing is just using this as an extension to put the cards in here but let me show how it works so in the instructions you can use anywhere from uh, 2 to 20 cards so these two are just ones that don't show any information so I'm using these and it's a simple concept they just go right in and it actually works really well and then if you had more you can fan them out. Now, obviously, you're kind of being flimsy, so you did have like 10 or 20 cards, and you're, you don't want them all to fall out everywhere. So maybe you just want to open them a little bit, or just know the order. And then you can actually, which I wouldn't do, but you could fold some cash up, or anything really, like paper, coupons, whatever, and put them in between your cards. And just to show some of the elasticity here, I don't have a whole stack of credit cards and this isn't exactly that perfect size representation but this is pretty thick this stack of post-it notes and you can see it accommodates and it does stretch and I've read some reviews on Amazon where they say that once you do put a few cards in and slide them around it'll kind of probably accommodate that size and be a little bit easier to work with but again what I'm using it for with this wallet. So if I get any more credit cards or if I'm taking a family member's card to the ATM or something for them, I can just put it here, not have to open the wallet, slide it in here, and then so it's still a little bit safer in this, and then put this whole assembly in the wallet, which I think works out pretty nicely. Because you can see I have some uh, cards here and then the window, and then up here, obviously, is where I have the, this the slot has my license, but you see, this one actually holds a good bit of cards, but then this wallet has a coin pouch, which I don't, I don't use coins now, but uh, you could put other things in, like a SIM card uh, removal tool or a little micro SD card or anything, so I do kind of like having a pouch, so then, uh, and it's hard to find one that has the two uh, bill slots, and uh, all of the, if you want one that just has all the credit card um, slots. But, and then you can slide more cards in here, but it makes the whole wallet thicker and everything. So, for me, basically, my option was to either double up the cards, which makes it harder to deal with them. Get another wallet, but this one's still perfect. It just, I needed to accommodate more cards. Or like those long wallets, which that was considering that, but obviously they're longer but they'll hold like 15, 20 cards unimpeded to where this I think is a pretty good solution. Just put my lesser used cards or again, if I'm using someone else's or need to do something like that, just keep that one in here. I don't even have to open up the wallet. So that works out nicely for me. 
I mean, so far, the quality has been worth it for me. So it's kind of pick or choose. I mean, some people probably don't want to pay that much money for just what this is, but it does get the job done. And it's exactly what I was looking for. It's thinner than really any other type I've seen. There are some that just kind of wrap around. And I think this modern carry also had like one that was a like a whole pouch, but it just looked way too flimsy and wouldn't work as well. To where this is pretty sturdy. I don't see this one. The only point of failure would be here. But uh, I'm pretty gentle on stuff, and I'm not putting that many cards in it and using it all that much. It's just kind of to hold the extra cards that I'd still like to have with me. So for me, it, it's worth it. And I just wanted to show, I think the only video I saw was from the company itself. So this one's just uh, by me being an honest reviewer here to see. And to me, it it's kind of just like the perfect little product that does exactly what I need it to. So I can't complain. I got to make some money, so... I can get kind of being a little overpriced, but still not too bad, and it gets the job done for me. So I'm happy with it, and uh, if anyone was curious how this product works or you wanted to find a video on it, here you go. Uh, so hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, thanks for watching, and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.